thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all you've done for me. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is Angela Richardson. I'm standing in for Prophetess K on today. God had gave me that song, and I was just listening to it, and I was just reminiscing of, of all the things that God has brought me through, has, has taken me through even to my childhood, all the things that I went through in my childhood, and he has brought me through of those things in my childhood to my adulthood. And I just thank God for it. I mean, as I began to sit down and I began to think about all the things that he's done for me, all the places he's brought me through, it truly had amazed me. And I and the tears began to fall from my eyes because I began to think about what God has actually done for me. You know, uh, you know, when I was when I was younger, when I was about nineteen year old years old, I had I mean I had an asthma all the way up until like I was nineteen, eighteen, nineteen years old. I always struggling for breath, never could breathe, and it was it's just like it's anything was just like a trigger one and when the when them asthma type come on and you just struggling for trying to get your breath and couldn't get your and I couldn't get my breath and I was just and I was just hassling for breath and I was like, Lord, you know, you know, you just saying, you know, a child at that time just saying, Lord, how long did I got to deal with this? But I just thank God that I didn't die with no asthma. God has healed me or asthma. It seemed like I went to bed one day, one night with it. And when I woke up the next night, I didn't never have it anymore. And I haven't had an asthma attack in all those years. And that was when I was like 19 years old. And I just thank God for how he has healed my body. And I know that I knew plenty of of people that didn't even make it, you know, they had asthma and they they have died of their asthma. But I just thank God how he has healed my body. And I, as I was listening this morning, you know, I was just listening to this song. God brought this song to my spirit. And I found it on YouTube and I began to listen to that song. And I, God began to bring things back to my remembrance. All the things that he has brought me through. When I, you know, when me and my husband first got married, and we didn't have a whole lot, you know, seemed like it, you know, the weather was bad. It seemed like it was rain every day. And, um, and, um, we, I, you know, the bills got behind and everything. And I, but I just thank God how he has brought us even through that. You know, back then it was robbing from Peter to be paid Paul, but I just thank God how he's brought us through. He has, he has br- brought us through and now he's blessing us with even more to have my bit husband to have more business coming in and even the days that it's raining now he still be able to go to another job which is on the inside and he still be able to to work and make money and I just thank God because the more I thought about it the t- more the tears began to fall mm. from my eyes because mm. you know a lot of times we are, we complain about things not might might not be going the way we think it should be going right now or we've been you know we've been praying about things a long time and it, it don't, don't seem like nothing is moving but this stuff is moving and not in the may you may not be able to see it in the natural realm but it's happening in the spiritual realm and how God is you know he's he's uh, putting everything in order he's setting things up in our lives to be, to be a, a a bigger blessing to us so a lot of times if we'd have got it when uh, things a lot of things that we're praying for now, if we'd have got it back then, we wouldn't have been able to appreciate it, or better yet, we'd have probably thrown it away because we didn't have the mindset back then that we have now. So God has to grow us up into certain mm-hmm. levels so He can release certain things to us. But I, as I begin to think about the things that what God has done for me, I like I said, the tears began to fall from my eyes, and I just went in total worship because I was just thinking, I'm like, Lord, I said. And many times I can complain, and I, I, you know, I'm just talking about myself now. Many times I have complained about this and about that. But today God just brought it back to my remembrance of what he has already done. And he had, he had to get me a, a piece of paper and a pen, and he had me begin to write a thank you list. So a thank you list is what, what a thank you list is. It's a list of what he has already done. And you know, God is the same yesterday, for it, the t- same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He changes not. And he showed me some of the things that he's already done. I know that is. All the things that he's okay. already brought me through as I began to write the list. The tears began to fall on me. I mean, I don't even for the more because... What God was showing me, like, you know, and, you know, you know, I know we're going through now with the pandemic and everything, but look, you know, like, I was going through some things, you know, I was going through things in my health, you know, I, oh, yeah. I remember, um, 
when I had to have a total hysterectomy, you know, and I had that, and that was right after um, uh, my mom had passed. My mom had passed in, in, in the same year that I had to have that surgery, and I was going through that issues with, you know, in the first of the year with my mom, and then my aunt passed the next day, next day, and I was going through that, and God brought me through that, you know, to be able to heal my heart from that, and then the next thing I know, uh, that same year, now I got to have this major surgery, and how God has brought me through, and when I was didn't have no money, you know, didn't have no mm-hmm. income, because I have used all my sick time and everything when my mom had passed and I didn't have no more sick time. And so when it was time to have this surgery, I'm just racking my brain asking, Lord, what am I going to do? He said, have this surgery. So then I was mm-hmm. able to have this sur- have that surgery. I didn't have no income coming in for those six weeks. But God showed me how he took care of me. I was mm-hmm. able to my car and people he had people to bless me give money give me money to be able to get back and forth to you know where I had to go back to forth to my doctor's appointment go back and forth to church you know and how God yeah. I mean it, it's just a and everybody on him I want you if not not while we on the line but after we get off the line get you a piece of paper and a pen and start yeah. going going back in your memory, ask God to bring it back to your memory. Now, he, you can't Hallelujah. Him because I didn't, I couldn't put it all down him. But go That's ahead right. and write not the list about where God has already brought you from, yeah. what God has already done in your life, and it, if it, it's going to probably touch your heart like it did mine, because I, like you said, I couldn't hold back the tears. I began to cry. Yeah. I saw what God has done. It just... Oh, it just, you know, I'm just saying, and that lets you know that he's been with you all of these years. Do you all really the time. That he's going to leave you now. He's been with you all of those years. He was even with you when you didn't even know God, but you know, and then he still was with you. He brought you yeah. through because of the calling on your life. So he brought you through those things that you went through when you wasn't saved. So now that yeah. you're saved, do you think he's going to leave you high and dry? No, all God right. is not going to leave you high and dry. He's there for you. He's with you. He's going to work you, everything for our good. So that's why it's so, you know, just make you a thank you list and, and, and just see for yourself about thank what you, God has brought you through, what yeah. he's brought you from, what he God has delivered you from, how God has healed your body. You know, I, I kept started Lord writing God. and I ended up wrecked. I had a, ended up with 18, 18 things on this paper, but it's so much mm-hmm. more, you know. So much more, you know. Yeah. I, we don't have to on the line for everything, but you know what I'm saying. But I just want everybody right. to realize exactly what God has brought you through, has yeah. done for you. When we couldn't do things for ourselves, God has always been there for us. You know, He is. He, he said in His Word that He would never leave us, never forsake us. That He would be with he us to it. the end of the world, and He means that. Yeah. He left us. We may have walked off and left Him, but He has mm-hmm. never left us. And every time we could always go back Glory and get, we had had had, uh, had missed, you know, wherever we we dropped them off at, go back and pick it back up and keep keep giving up going on. And he don't love us any less. He still loves us the same. So you know, whenever you get a chance, get you get you a piece of paper and write out you a thank you list. You know, so you know it's. So we don't always want to go to God all the time with God, give me this, give me that, give me that. We all we want to go to God and thank Him for things, the things that He's done. You know, because you know, even without, with, as a a, a, a fam, a, a, like a, a father and a mother, you know, when they got a child and they, if the child is always coming to them, give me this, give me this, give me that, give me this, and never saying thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, it makes your heart feel good when your child comes to you and say thank you, daddy, or thank you, mama, for doing this or doing that. So just like we, we do our, may do our natural parents, we need to go to God too yeah. and thank him for what he's done because he's done so much in our lives. I know, I'm, like I said, I'm in awe of this list of what things that I've written down. You know, I know this ain't all. He's done more, but this is some of the things that was running through my head, and I was trying to write it down as it was running through my head because he's been so good. Yeah, yeah. We could ever be to, be, be to ourselves. So God has always been there for us. You know, he's like say, even, time, even times when we were always where we need to be in him, but he's always been there for us. He has never always. Left. And he's always been there for us. You know, whenever, you know, even uh, I, when, I, when I had that, that, that surgery, 
Then I had another surgery. When I had back surgery, I ended up having to have three back surgeries. He was with me in all those back surgeries. He was in that operating room with me. You know, even when they had complications, you know, and came out and told my family it was going to be longer than they thought. He, and, you know, he was in there with me holding my hand, you know, and he brought me out of those is, you know, and now I'm able to be on this prayer line, so I know it wasn't nothing but the goodness and the graciousness of Hallelujah. God. I'm able to be on this prayer line. I know I'm not the one that he's been there for. I'm there for everybody on this line because there's no way on this line if God hadn't been there for you. And I, and I just thank God. I'm just so excited, God. When he, when he was, he just showed me this, you know. And I was just, like I said, sitting there listening to that song. And he began to just, you know, play, you know, I, I guess, you know, we could say, like, play the video back, you know, uh, of your mm-hmm. life. And he began to show me different things. And I was like, Lord, I thank you. And, you know, I try to make it a, my business to, you know, whatever I see him do, you know, just thank him for it. You know, whatever it is, no matter how little it is, or matter, no matter how big it is, oh, or how Somebody may else, somebody else may think it is, but I always try to make it my business to thank God for everything because, and you know, He is definitely worthy of our praise. He's definitely worthy Amen. of our praise. And not, not only that, He's through with us yet, y'all. We are we yet alive. He is not through yeah. with us. Yeah. He's is yet to come. It doesn't matter yeah. how old or how you know. And we a lot of us think we're too old to be used by God, but we are never too mm. old to be. That by God alone and breathing, we can be used by God. So, yeah. you know, God is, he's just so amazing, y'all. He's just so amazing. Yes, but um, I'm going to get on in the prayer. Like I said, I got excited. So I'm going to try to calm down. But I, 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 he is so amazing, you know, when he begins to you. bring back to your remembrance. And you will see, like, wow, God. You, I mean, you know, he just amazes me with the things exactly. that he's in my life. You know, the places he brought me through and the things that he brought me through. But I'm going to go ahead and get on into the prayer. And, um, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come before you today to say thank you for all that you've done in our lives up until this present time in Jesus' name. Lord, we are calling out to you to let you know that we are grateful for how you've been protecting our families from things seen and unseen in our lives right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are grateful to see another day that we haven't seen before. Brand new mercies every day in Jesus' name. Lord, we are grateful that we are able to get up every day and put on our own clothes and feed ourselves yeah. when we get hungry in the name of Jesus. But, Lord, because we realize that so many people it doesn't have that privilege, Lord, but we thank you for that privilege right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we are grateful that you have thought of each of us to supply every need, such as your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Somebody is making a lot of noise on there. I'm trying to wash the dishes and cooking. <laughs> but, it, but, but anyway, it's mutual lines. Be respectful of the line. Mutual lines. If you're doing something in the background, and you, you know, most of, most of the time we can hear you. So uh, go ahead Amen. and mute your line. Said, Lord, we are grateful that you have thought of each of us to supply every need, such as riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Lord, we may not have everything that we want, but we are thankful for everything that we need. You have, you give us everything that we need. You said you will supply our every need, such as your riches yes. and glory by Christ Jesus. Lord, we thank you for sending the finances that we need when we needed them to pay our bills so our bills can be paid on time in Jesus' name. Your, your word declares that we are, we are to be content in whatever state that we are in in Jesus' name because we know that there is someone who is worse off than we are in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. Lord, forgive us for murmuring and complaining when we should have been telling you thank you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for protecting and continuing to protect our families from the COVID-19 and the Delta variant in Jesus' name. Lord, but if some of our families have it, we pray that you will send your healing virtue to saturate their bodies and lungs right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we decree that by your stripes they are healed. Lord, you are Jehovah Rapha. You are the God that healed thee right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we speak life and life more abundantly over them right now and into their bodies right now in the name of Jesus. They will live and not die, declare the works of the Lord in Jesus' name. Lord, they will not die prematurely because all sickness is not unto death right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask that you will send your ministering angels to everyone's bedside to lay your their healing hands on each one of them. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, go to every NIC unit right now where all those children are, every pediatric unit right now in Jesus' name, and touch their bodies right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we decree and cut healing in their weak bodies, and we speak the strength of God in their bodies right now in Jesus' name. 
Lord, cover our children in the school systems right now in the name of Jesus. Send your warring angels to surround every school so they will stop the spread of the COVID-19 or the Delta variant in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that the COVID-19 and the Delta variant must die by the fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for every governmental system that make laws concerning our schools and nations in the name of Jesus. Lord, help them to make the right decisions when it comes to the lives of the people in the nation. Lord, I pray that you put people around them that say, sanctified and full of the Holy Ghost, that will be obedient to what you're telling them to do right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we cast down every lie that was erected by the enemy that the people of this nation may believe right now in Jesus' name. Lord, help us all to depend on you and only you for the answers to the problem of this nation in every state. Lord, because, Jesus, you, we know that you're, you are the only answer to what is going on in this world right now. Because of sin, you are the only answer right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask that the body of Christ will get on one accord and get together instead of being separated. Because with unity, we'll be stronger against the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. Because your, your word declared that we cannot do anything divided, that we have to be in uni, unified right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask that you forgive us of our sins and shortcomings. If we have played any part in, in, in the confusion that's going on in this world right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to love one another the way you said to love them in Jesus' name. Regardless of race, creed, and color, help us to show the love of God to everyone that we come in contact with in our lives right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we lay aside our agendas and take up your agenda because only your agenda will last in this world. Lord, help us to put our differences aside and look at the bigger picture that you are trying to show us in Jesus' name. Lord, open up our eyes, move the, remove the scales off our eyes so we can see that what you're trying to show us, God, right now in Jesus' name. Help us to turn, turn back to you, Lord. Uh, many of us have turned our backs on you, God, right now in Jesus' name. Lord, help us to turn, our, turn back to you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you will intervene in this COVID-19 and Delta variant situation that the nation and nations all over this world is dealing with right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for all the families that have lost loved ones in the name of Jesus. Lord, your word declares that you are the healer of the brokenhearted. Lord, go deep inside those wounded places in their heart and heal those areas right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch every nurse, every doctor, every CNA, administrators of all the medical personnel, hearts, and heal the brokenness of their hearts as well in Jesus' name. Lord, strengthen them by your Holy Spirit because many of them want to give up and want to quit their jobs that you have given them in Jesus' name. Lord, touch each one of them to get in your presence if they have to do it every day before work, or even during the day, right now, and they, especially at the end of the day when they get home, that they will get in your presence so you can refresh them every day right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, give them peace in their home so they will not go out and take their frustrations out on their families right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, cover them and their families so they will not be taking any of the COVID-19 or the Delta variant home to their families. Lord, we draw a bloodline around, around all of their families right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, if any of them don't know you, tug on their hearts so they will give their lives to you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know without a shadow of doubt that you are the answer to the COVID-19. You are the answer to the Delta variant. You are the answer to any diseases that is on this earth that is affecting your people all over this nation right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we cry out to you because we know that we need you to move mighty in this land right now in the name of Jesus because we cannot do anything without your help. Help us, Lord. We need you now right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for the EMTs, the paramedics, the police department, anyone that is affected by the COVID-19 and Delta variant in any way. Lord, hear the hearts of these people so they can continue to go to work every day and do their jobs in Jesus' name. Lord, because we know that no one is exempt from the diseases in the name of Jesus. It is taking everybody from all walks of life right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, help every one of these people to be able to get the proper rest so they need so they can go to their jobs and be refreshed right now in the name of Jesus. No, Lord, let prayer break out in places where prayer, prayer has been banned in the name of Jesus. 
Lord, we ask you to heal mental issues that they may have because of seeing all these sicknesses and deaths that have been taking place around them in the name of Jesus. Lord, let them know that they are needed and appreciated for all they do for our communities in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare the strength of the Lord to touch each one of them right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, build them up on their leaning side where they have seen so many things that they are hard to forget. Help them, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for the peace of God to hit this line right now like never before in the name of Jesus. We will trust you in your, in your word right now in the name of Jesus, what you have spoken over our lives. We will trust your word of what you have spoken over our lives. We will trust your word of what you have spoken over our lives. We come against every terror attacks in this nation in the name of Jesus. We bind these attacks in Jesus' name. We pray that the plots and plans and ploys of the enemy shall be broken off this nation right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, hear the minds of your people so we will not walk around in fear right now in the name of Jesus. Your word declare will we, not, we will not have the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of sound mind, God. Give us all a sound mind right now in Jesus' name. But we will leave our homes and go to places we need to because, God, you will order ourselves and you will not let us go into any dangerous situations right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray against all automobile accidents, bus accidents, truck accidents, train accidents because their people are operating because they're tired and have not had enough sleep right now in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare they will have sweet sleep from this day forward right now in the name of Jesus so they can be good and rested when they get out on the roads right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you cover them under your blood right now in the name of Jesus from any premature death right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, send your traveling angels with them each day to prevent all types of accidents right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we cover this line under the blood of Jesus and all our family members under the blood of Jesus. Let us be all at the right place at the right time and not some place where danger is lurking in Jesus' name. Lord, protect our property from attacks of the enemy. Send your warring angels to surround our property and keep it covered under the blood of Jesus. Lord, your word declares in Hebrews, Hebrews 14 and 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace in the time of need. So, Lord, this is why we're coming to you for everything right now that we need in Jesus' name. Lord, because your word declares that we, you will supply every need such as your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Lord, your word also declares in 1 John 5, 14 and 15, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us whatsoever we ask, we know that we can have the position that we desire of him right now in the name of Jesus. So, God, we know that you have heard every one of these prayers because we have prayed according to your word. And then we'll pray according to your will. And we know that you are working them out according to your will right now in the name of Jesus for our lives. Lord, we know that you're going to, going to come through for us because you have never let us down. You have never let us down right now in the name of Jesus. You have worked things out to, 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 our, to our best interest at heart. That's what you have always done for us. And that was according to your will in Jesus' name. And, Lord, because you are the same yesterday for, forever and for, to. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, and you change not. If you said it, you have decreed it and declared it over our lives, it will come to pass in your perfect timing and not ours, in Jesus' name. So, Lord, we thank you for what you're getting ready to do in our lives right now, in Jesus' name. So while we're waiting on our breakthroughs and manifesting our lives, we are going to be about your business, God. We're going to be about your business, God, and continue to do what you have told us to do in Jesus' name. So we won't be around island when we should be moving and being obedient to you in Jesus' name. And, Lord, we pray for the city of Tennessee right now in Jesus' name. What is this, um, this tsunami-like water went through and destroyed so, much, so many things in this, this city right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for the family that lost loved ones right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, surround those loved ones right now in the, ne in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, heal those broken hearts right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, help them to be able to rebuild in those areas right now in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Have you blessed our communities right now in the name of Jesus, that when the storms were coming by, those hurricanes, those, those tornadoes was coming by in, our, in different areas, God, that you, you, you spared our homes right now in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we have so much to thank you for right now in the name of Jesus. 
And, Lord, we just love you. We magnify you, Lord. We lift your name on high because you're worthy to be praised. And, Lord, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And I want everybody to unmute your lines. And give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for being a long suffering God. Thank you for your great faithfulness. For great is thy faithfulness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for all that you've done. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for what you're doing right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to your holy name. Glory be to your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Hallelujah. You are praise worthy God. You are praise worthy God. Great are you, Lord, and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Your name, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Your name is a strong tower. Hallelujah. And the righteous running and have kept safe. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we had a thousand times, we could never thank you enough. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his kindness, for all his kindness? Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. I will offer up a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving unto our God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. You've been so good, Lord. You've been so kind. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Patient God, a long suffering God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. 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 What I'm going to do is I want to read some of the, my thank yous off of my list um, to the whole list, but I'm just going to go through some of those, some of the, thank some you. things. And, and you, like I said, I want to, uh, you know, just, you know, do it. Just everybody that's on here. Get you a get you a list Thank after you come mm. and just write you a list and let God re- bring back to your remembrance of the things that He brought you from. So he, he, He's won't you know so we can just thank Him. You know, I'm not saying nobody does thank Him. I'm pretty sure we all thank Him, but some of the things we've forgotten that He done. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And He just wants yes. to bring it back to our remembrance. But um, you know, as you begin to write your list, you know, and then because you know if He's been with you all those times. All the way from your childhood, you know, because you're here. If you're here on this line, then he brought you all the way from your childhood, mm-hmm. all the way from child, your your adulthood, your your tween, yes. your teen, you yes. know, you know, yes. and before he was married, now you're married, you know. So you know he's been with you, you know, and he, and his word is true. He said he'll never leave us, and he hasn't. So that yeah. lets you know what you've been praying for now. You can just Thank just hold Lord. on and be, and be rest assured that it's coming to pass because he already showed you that what he's done already. You know, when you when you write this list down, he's already showing you what you're doing all right, ready. So that lets you know he ain't he ain't left. You know, a lot of times we think just cause he ain't, you know, we ain't heard from him in a while that he's he's forgot about us 
or he ain't think he's not thinking about us, but he, he's still thinking about us. He's working things out, you know, in his time, and it's not like our time, and, you know, you know, we like the microwave stuff, you know, you know, we like the stuff that happened when we say it should happen, but no, that ain't the way he works. He works different. Mm, and the way yeah. he works, Amen. We, we, we may want to work, want it, work it out, work it out, worked out, but it may not be totally worked out. We'll just, we'll be just want a happy, we'll just take whatever we can get done, you know, but he's going to mm. work it out to, to the, all the way. Yeah. He don't do nothing yeah. half. He don't, he don't half heal nobody. When he heals somebody, I mean, he totally heals somebody, you know what I'm saying? So when he right. delivers have delivered nobody. He totally delivered somebody, you know. And so, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to read the key ones that God brought back to my remember. I, I told him, I said, thank you for being closed in my right mind. And mm. number two, he me. He kept me from having a nervous breakdown when I was in a domestic violence relationship, when I was in, in a domestic violence marriage. It seemed like I was about to, I was about to lose it. And I was like, Lord, what is, you know what I'm saying? It was just so much going on, you know, in that relationship. And I, it just seemed like I was about to lose, I was about to lose it. But he, he kept me from losing my mind, you know, kept my mind, uh, kept me in my right mind, to even have enough right mind to get out that relationship, you know, because it had turned real, really violent, you know what I'm saying? I thank you that I got out with my life because there's a lot of people that's been in those relationships and had, had, didn't leave their life, but I got out with my life, and I thank God for that. And I thank Lord for um for healing me from, you know, like I said, by the asthma, healing me from high blood pressure, and, you know, um, I have had high blood pressure for three years. God healed me from high blood pressure. It was just like with my asthma. I went to bed with it one day, and when the next morning I woke up, I didn't have it, and um, I never had any issue with my high blood pressure any longer, even when I was having those issues with my back. Um, I only time, only one time I had issue with my high blood pressure when I went to have my epidural, and uh, when they took my blood pressure afterwards, because I never had one before, I didn't know what to expect, so I was a little excited. But when I when they took my blood pressure after, it was like one one six over one something, and they said, "You all right?" I said, "Yeah." They said, "Well, you you ain't dizzy or nothing." I said, "No." I said, "I'm good," you know. And so they said, well, I need you to sit here till your blood pressure go down. So I began to speak to my spirit. You know, I began to speak to myself. I said, oh, no, devil, I know what you're trying to do. I said, we ain't going there with you today. I said, no, uh-uh. This blood pressure start coming. I, I commanded my blood pressure to come down, and they came in there and checked it. They said, it's still a little high. You know, that bottom part was like 90, and the other part was still one something. He said, but I, you okay to drive? I said, yeah. So on my way home, I just sort of. I turned off the radio, everything, and I began to pray, do, do praise and worship. I began to sing to the Lord, and when I got home, I took my blood pressure. It was normal. So, you know, a lot of times it's the enemy attacking us, and if we come and agree with it, then that's what it will be. But if we'll start uh, doing what God has already they give it us, but I, by me going into worship, beginning to pray and going into worship, when I got home, it was normal. You know, my blood pressure was normal. And I, I, then, after then, I ain't had no issue. Every time I go to the doctor, my blood pressure is normal. And, I, and I'm always celebrating when they take my blood pressure. They say, oh, it's 120 over 60. I say, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. They say, oh, you happy about that? I say, oh, yeah, I am. I say, because God has healed me from that. And I thank God for that. And, um, and then, you know, um, what complications when I had that surgery? I had complications. The doctor thought it was going to take this many hours, and then he had come out there to tell my family, no, it was, they was having complications. They went back in there, and but like, God brought me out, you know, and, and now I'm on this prayer line. So, you know, and, you know, what I'm saying is that God was with us all those times. You know, when we prayed and opened our mouth and prayed that first time, God heard our prayers, and immediately he sent his ministering angels to our bedside when we had those surgeries. And so we didn't have anything to worry about. We were able to come out those surgeries. We done fine. We had a speedy recovery. Got on up, you know, just like Miss uh, Miss um, uh, Ruby on this line said she had knee surgery, and now she's getting ready to go back work work September something, September seven, I think she said. Mm. But you know that everybody but God, you know what I'm saying? That because oh, many yeah, people yeah. had knee surgery, they've been out longer than that. You know, even when I had my uh, shoulder surgery, the doctor was saying three to six months, but Hey, in two months, hey, I'm, I was healing well, you know, done had my therapy and everything, done healing well. So God is showing us that he's Amen. with us. He's not going to leave us. No, no, he's going to stay with us. He ain't leaving us as long as we stay with him. 
he's going to stay with us. So if, you know, it just, just like I said, just be encouraged. Continue to stay yeah. in, in God's word. Continue yeah. to stay yeah. in God's face, get in God's presence. And God's going to bless you. He's going to bless you so much. And it's going to bless you. Stop, stop. He's going to blow your mind. And a lot of times, you know, we think that, you know, like I said, we think we're too old for this and we're too old for that. But, no, we're never too old in God because God can use you. Remember Abraham, how old he was, and Sarah, how old she was when they had Isaac. Mm-hmm. But, you know, they, and, they guess, and they had plenty more years after that. You know what I'm saying? So we're mm-hmm. never too old for God to use us. So we just have to be willing for him to use us. And, you know, and whenever he's telling us to do, to do it, you know, regardless of, you know, we may be scared at first, you know, but if he told us to do it, do it. I was looking at on Facebook a few minutes ago, one of the ladies that's in the church with me, um, she, um, that got her day with me, she said she got on there and she was giving out, she was doing a little teaching. She said, I'm scared, but I'm on here anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? But if you're, if you're doing what God's told you to do, and you, you may be scared the first couple of times, you know, because I was scared when I got on the first got on a couple of times I got on the prayer line. Actually, I was on the prayer line one time before, but, I, you know, I let the enemy talk to me because he said, you're stuttering. Ain't nobody understanding what you said, and you, you just can't get your words out. And then I, I said, like, wow. I said, you know, and I listened to him, you know. and But now, I, if I stutter, I stutter. I correct my word and keep going on. I'm pretty sure everybody understands what I'm saying. But what I'm saying, if you allow him to keep talking to you, you have to start casting this voice down. When he immediately yeah, yeah. opened his mouth and began to talk to you, you start casting that down. And, and because whatever yeah. he said that you are not, that's opposite of what God says you are. And you start letting yeah. him, think of Judge Kalen Carr that has that song. I think it is, is it either, either bigger or greater. I can't remember which one it is. But anyway, at the end of it, she said, the enemy says you this. And the enemy says you that, you say, no, I'm not that, but I am what God says I am. So when you, mm. when he starts talking to you, is you start casting that, them lies down because he's lying to you because he ain't going to tell you the truth no way, no how. He can't, you know, it's not in him to tell the truth. So when he telling you something that's out, way off base and whatever he's telling you is definitely not going to line up with God's word. And so when he's telling mm. you that crazy stuff, start casting that stuff down. Do not entertain that stuff because you know, I already know that he's a liar, and he ain't going to yeah. tell you no way, no how. So, you yeah. know, but whatever God is telling you to do, you know, if you, if you don't, just go on there, go on there 15 minutes. If, you know, go on your first time. You know, you might not stay on there as long as I do. Sometimes, sometimes I try not to stay on there. I try to do 30 minutes, but sometimes it goes longer. But anyway, but if you if you just start not go on there 15 minutes, just go on there 15 minutes, do your little 15 minutes, you know, whatever the scripture God give you, elaborate on the scripture. You know, if you want to, God tell you to pray, pray for people. Pray, pray, just pray a natural, a regular prayer. And then, okay, well, I'll see y'all later. And go on next week. You go on there again, about 15 minutes. And the next thing you know, you'll be on there 15. Next thing you know, you're in there 30 minutes. And next thing you know, you don't overcome that fear. But if you don't never walk out and step out, you'll never um, overcome that fear. Because if I would have mm. just... If I would have just stayed, listened to him about my speech, about the stuttering. But check this out. Now, Moses stuttered, so he got to Aaron with him, and he still was right. able to go to Pharaoh. You know what I'm saying? So if I would have let that hinder me, I wouldn't be on this prayer line today, friend. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So God is telling you, just, just step out. You know, just, just step out. Do a little bit first, and next thing you know, when you get your little confidence, you know, but, you know, I've talked to the to the people, even T.D. Jakes, I was listening to him talk one day. He said he can still get nervous when he get up there. You know, so, you know, he's a great man of God. You know, not, you know, what I'm saying, he's a great man of God. You know, he, he's a great preacher. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he lets us know that we still get fearful when we get up there, especially if you've been somewhere you ain't been before. You get up there, you you kind of fearful. But as the Holy Ghost begin, you begin to speak, open your mouth, and the Holy Ghost put them words in your mouth, and you begin to come forth, and the Holy Ghost begin to move, you'll forget all about that nervousness. And just like with Samantha on last night, um, I, didn't, I wasn't on there because I was on my Bible study. But anyway, I listened to the replay this morning, and I was like, wow. You know, awesome, awesome word. Everybody that's been on there, you know, awesome, awesome, awesome. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because God don't want us to stay small. Prophets can't tell us all the time. God does not want us to stay small. He wants us to grow. There's more in us 
than you than you could ever realize. That's more God has so much in us. There's gifts and talents that we have no idea that's in us that God wanna manifest in us. But we're gonna have to move for those gifts to start to operating in our life. We're gonna have to get out of our stuck place and move. We're gonna we're gonna definitely have to do that. But anyway, let me get to the announcements. Um, six AM tons of fire, twelve PM prayers, pray at God's lead. Also, make, also doing the um, Tongues of Fire, we do the communion. We give the word of God. Um, check out her Rejoice Essential Network with plenty of teaching. Check out the Rejoice Essential magazine that comes out first of every month. A great articles in there. Uh, so, I mean, there's so much intent. If you go to Izu, uh, Izu, Izu, Izuzu, or you know what I'm saying, that word with the I. If you go there or, you know, you would be able to read that magazine or go even to go to the um, Facebook page, you'll be able to read that magazine. Just click on the link. You'll be able to read that magazine. Also, she has a two you do channel and three different levels. You know, just go and sign up. Whatever level you can afford, go and sign up. It's going to be some great intent. Also, she has also had a um, Facebook lot, a Facebook um, support group that you can join at. That's four ninety nine a month, and she does in, uh, content in that. She did, a, I think it was a video year. On uh, uh, not quitting, said um the enemy um uh, have you of uh, what be careful what you speak out of your mouth. Quit saying I'm I'm tired. I'm finna give up. You know because the enemy is waiting on us to say certain words so he can go back to God with those point words so he can use it against us. So you know whatever we may be going through, we ain't gonna give up because giving up is not an answer. It's not a it's not a even in the vocabulary anymore because of what's going on in the world. What is going to give up and go back to? It's nothing to go back to. So we definitely got to keep going forward. Also, um, so if you want to sow into the ministry, it's, you can go to her website, www.prophetsk.org, or go to Cash App is dollar sign Prophet Prophet Kimberly Moses. Her Venmo is Kimberly Moses nineteen. Also, we didn't miss any calls like last night. I missed um, Samantha's call, and I, but I went on there this morning and listened to it. It was awesome message uh, for a mess into a masterpiece. I mean, that God has been all of us like that because we were all a mess, and he turned us all into a masterpiece. Uh, so um, also there's plenty of content on her YouTube channel. You can also watch the replays. Um, check out her podcast on Rejoice Essential Network. Also, if you go on Rejoice Essential Network, you find plenty of content from all the people that's on there. Also, um, the, um, also that Warfare Strategies is on uh, Essential Network and also Charisma Media. And that's all the announcements. Oh, there's so many more. She's doing so much. She's doing a lot of stuff. So if you have to just get on the um, Intercessor That War page, um, just join that and answer all the questions. Someone from uh, one of the administrators will let you in, and that's where all the announcements will, will be. And you can get or go to her website and, and join her e-blast, and you can get all your the emails inside your email. It, it, it go to your email, all, her, all what she has going on. So the next thing we'll do, we'll have um, testimonies or a praise report. Does anybody have a testimony or a praise report? Good afternoon, family. This is Leslie. Hey. And I just want to give my, my praise report, my guy. So yesterday after the prayer call, me and my husband was doing some running around, just happened to check our bank account unexpectedly. Unexpected. I still don't even know where the money came from, but I just praise God for it. It was a $2,500 check that was deposited. Amen. And that's Hallelujah. my testimony and prayers before. Expect God. Amen. Jesus. Say you next. Amen. I'm next. Hallelujah. Jesus, Amen. I'm next. Yes. Hallelujah. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. 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 Glory to God. Awesome. Glory to God. Awesome. Awesome. Amen. Yes, Unexpected sir. money. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Lord. And I have to um, talk about that on Bible study last night. About some unexpected money, he gave us a, a word about some look for the unexpected money in your um in your in your mail or whatever. And he said uh, somebody came and told him that uh, somebody found three checks in the mail. I was like, wow, mm. you know. He said, check your mail. He said because a lot of people think it's just junk mail, but it actually is right. not junk mail. So make sure you go through all your mail and don't tear up nothing. Just throw it in the trash can without opening. Open that mail right. and look. Might be tearing up checks, throwing them away, and you're probably gonna be kicking yourself when you find out it was a check you just threw away. Yeah. But it, so it, you know, but God is doing that for His people. He wants His He wants His yeah. people blessed because He don't want us struggling for nothing. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. You hear any more testimonies or praise reports? 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I also want to give a testimony that I also received an unexpected check in the mail as well. So I just want to thank God for prayer because mm. the glory is just flowing from everybody. One person said they get an unexpected money, and God says that, you know, we're all his favorites. So I just thank God because I also got um, an unexpected check in the mail. So, you know, I'm all, I'm going to give my portion to Kimberly Mother's ministry. So praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And and you know the way to be able to continue to get unexpected stuff or even unexpected blessings is to, you know, tithe out of it. Tithe and give and sow seed out of it. Because when you sow in seeds, you're always going to get a harvest. So he said he he gives seed to the sower. So you will sow and you give it, and he's going to definitely give it back to you. And most of the time when he give it back to you, it's going to be multiplied. So that's that's a good thing. Any more testimony? Amen. Good afternoon, Professor Sanson. I have a testimony. Well, I thank you for the powerful word you said about the things, about mm-hmm. the things, things While you were saying something about high blood pressure, I suffer with high blood pressure. While you were saying that, I said, well, I'm going to do the same thing that she does. So I thank God for that, for the hello and you to say that too. That will bless me. Amen, amen, amen. 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 That's amen. right. I've got to know what he's done for That's me. Right. He's able to everybody on this line. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Awesome testimony. Awesome testimony. Any more testimonies, praise reports? No more praise report testimonies? Okay, well, I have a praise report. I was checking my, I got an email from Inspirion, and so I went in there, and I began to check it, and I, my credit score has gone up two points. Woo-hoo, woo-hoo, woo-hoo. There you go. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. I've been, I've been, you know, uh, you know, God, cause it, whatever, like I said, whatever we're concerned about, God is concerned about it. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, when we're concerned about our credit, because he wants us to be able to go to, you know, whenever we get ready to purchase our homes or our cars, you know, he wants us to be able to go to these places and get a good interest rate and not get um, bamfoozled, I put it like that, because you don't want to go and get try to get a car and then, and with a, you know, if, you, if your credit is not all that well when you try to go get a car, uh, you don't want to um, be, um, I can't think of that word, where you, where you be owing more on the car than it's worth, I put it like that. So, you know, so you want to be able to go and get a good interest rate so you can be able to your payments be affordable, that you don't want to be struggling trying to pay no car payment. Or even when you go get your home, you, you get a home, you don't want to be trying to struggle to pay no uh, mortgages. So if you go, if your uh, interest rate, if your credit score is pretty good, um, when you go there and you you basically can, get, you know, have a run of the place, get basically get it how you want it. You know what I'm saying? You won't have these old balloon, big, big old balloon payments, you know, when you're going to get these these things, you know. And you can get your uh, fixed rate when you're going to get your um, your mortgage. Make sure you get a fixed rate. Don't be get a don't get adjustable rate because they can go up on a mortgage at any time. So make sure it's a fixed rate when you're going to get this book, that mortgage. All all right. If there's no more testimonies. We're going to ask anybody, do they need prayer? <clears throat> okay. Oh, that's great. If nobody needs prayer, then no. We're going to, um, that's great. Um, we're going to go ahead and. Okay. Good afternoon, Professor Angela. I need to pray for my daughters in Seattle. That God will give her a job. Uh, she's been looking for a teaching job because my my husband, my husband has been bothering her for a while. Even though she she has to fill out more papers, but she said, "Mommy, I've been doing so after waiting." So I pray, I, I believe my prayer that God will open doors for her that she'll have peace of mind. Her name is Michaela. Okay. 
Makayla, okay. Okay, Father God, in the name of Jesus, again, that we come to the throne of mercy and grace. Lord, we bring your daughter before you, Makayla, right now in Jesus' name. And Lord, we know that you wouldn't have took her all the way through school that, um, and let her pass all her tests without her being able to find a, a suitable job. Lord, we pray right now that you open doors for her to be able to find her a suitable job in the, the town of, in the city of Seattle right now in Jesus' name. And, Lord, as she goes to her interviews, Lord, we pray, decree and declare that she will be hired on the spot right now in Jesus' name. And, Lord, we just thank you what you're getting ready to do in Michaela's life right now in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we love you. We magnify you. We lift your name on high because you're ready to be praised. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Has she tried it in the private Ms. Ruth? Yes, ma'am. Has she ever has she tried it in any of those private schools? I don't know if she has. I, I will call. I will talk to her tonight and ask her to do so. Yes, okay. that's a good idea. I will ask her to do so. All right. Amen. Thank you for praying for her. I will let you know what happened. Because okay. I know God will right. open the door for her. Thank you for oh, praying yes, for her for me. I appreciate it. Yeah, because he didn't, he didn't take her to school and help her pass all those tests. It's just mm-hmm. for to be fit home, twirling her thumbs. It's a job out there for her. He's going to give mm-hmm. it to her. Yes, Amen. Please. Thank you. Amen. Okay. Is anybody else desire prayer? Hey, Sister uh, Angela, how are you doing today? God bless you. I'm writing you. I'm doing wonderful. Hey, uh, my wife was, uh, um, you know, they gave my wife a, a fusion a shot that she had to take every six months now. So uh, she was, uh, one of the side effects is she, you know, her ankles will be sore and swelling. And uh, so I know last night she, she asked me to pray for her ankles because they were uh, sore and swelling. So I just want you to agree with me on that uh, the side effects were not, See what, what whatever the content says, we pray for the wrinkles and uh, the swelling. Okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we bring before your daughter before you today. And, Lord, we pray as she gets those shots that she would not have any side effects from those shots right now yes, in the name of yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we pray that you can touch her, her ankles right now in the name of Jesus, and we command the swelling and the yes. soreness to leave her body right now in the, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. And, Lord, we bind swelling and soreness right now in the yes, name of Jesus. And yes, the healing yes, virtue yes. of Jesus to saturate her body from the top of her head yes. to the sole of her feet right now in the name yes, of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. And by your stripes, she is healed right now in yes, Jesus' name. And, Lord, we just thank you. We love you. We magnify Magnify you. We lift your name yes. on high because you're worthy to be praised. Yes, and continue to move mildly in her life like never before. Yes, yes, Jesus yes. Christ, pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Um, could you tell her to use some witch hazel? Okay. I will. Um, it's you know, it's not as strong as, as the alcohol, but it's the witch hazel is is, you know, it's you know, just put some on there, just just rub them down in the witch hazel. Okay. Make sure I do it. Yes, All right. Thank All right. you. You're welcome. Does anybody else since our prayer today? All right. Nobody else since our prayer. Um, I thank everybody for coming on the line today. I love y'all. I will see y'all tomorrow. At 6 a.m., yeah, because we don't have anything mm-hmm. happening tonight. I see you mm-hmm. tomorrow at 6 a.m. I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed rest of y'all day. Mm-hmm. Uh, bless you. Have a great day. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you.